You're telling me that Sokka the Backbender died childless and unmarried? This is why I haven't watched Korra yet, because they just served us a bold-faced lie. There is no way he was 14, getting girls all around the clock. And then we get this glow up. Like, look at that bone structure. No one was sitting on that. Suki let that get away. Look at him. That is the face of a devoted husband, if not at least a good baby daddy who always pays child support on time and takes the kids to the water park. The only explanation that I would accept for this is that he was Zuko's secret lover and nobody was allowed to talk about it. Or Aang let him into the spirit realm so he could bonk the moon. This has been a TED talk. Okay, they cannot keep getting away with this. Watch this little water wet, boom, on the ground. I think you've learned a new trick. Yes, she has. Come this far to lose to you. Well, spoiler alert, you might be about to. No, oh, I'll get whips him again. Look, watch this. I'm gonna froze your feet up. She's like, you look a little thirsty. Maybe need a little bath. Here's some water. Oh, little, little soap, shampoo, little condition, little rubber duck. I'm gonna freeze all that up. She's like, look what I did. That was pretty cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this parallel. That's a parallel if I've ever seen one. Oh, he, oh, he's angry. He is angry. Oh, breaks free. Oh, fire punch. Fire punch, fire punch. Katara's literally still like, yo, water puts fire out. You're gonna learn today. Watch once, twice. Puts it out three times. You're gonna learn. Oh, she missed. Oh, he grabs him. She's like, not my man. I wasn't angry before. Now I'm angry. She's like, once, twice. Tidal wave up the wall. Oh, little popsicle ass bitch. Are you trying to romance me? Yeah. It's working. Fire. Water. Wind. Mold. Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. Until the mold nation attacked. Literally the most painful scene in Avatar history. This man literally annihilated this man's whole... Ooh. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah! Dang, it cut off. It's just so bad it was. Ah! It began with two sisters. One born with magical powers. One born powerless. Well, at least they have their parents. Their parents are dead. Oh, hi, I'm Anna. I'll marry a man I just met. Ice palace for one. Ice palace for one. Get out, Anna. Pew, pew. Oh, my goodness. Here's a true love's kiss. You're not worth it! What?! Then Anna freezes to death. How oh, Anna? Then she unfreezes. So I'm re-watching Avatar The Last Airbender and there's this scene where Iroh's in prison and one of the guards brings him his food or whatever and I just realized something. Careful, so this guard comes in and her name is Ming. Right Listen to her voice. I snuck in some white JT. I know you like rare teas. I, was I know a black woman's voice when I hear one, so I googled it. I was curious. I want to know who this queen is. When I say I was surprised, that's an understatement. It's Serena Williams. I'm scared of people who are not afraid to die. Like, I swear to God, my friends are just jumping off cliffs into lava saying, fuck it, dude, fuck it. Like, no, no, fuck it. No, fuck it, dude. Like, I get the whole YOLO thing, but live first. I don't want to die. Uncle, what are you doing? We gotta go search for the Avatar. Pretzuko, first tea, and big booty bitches. Then, Avatar. Here's why there needs to be an Avatar Kyoshi series. She is a mixed race, queer, 
stylish motherfucker who held shit down for 230 fucking years. Not only is it a great opportunity for representation, but she also created the Dai Li and regretted doing so because of how corrupt they became. See any parallels to today's society? And on a very personal note, as a cisgender heterosexual white guy, think about how awesome it would be if an army of straight cisgender white boys across the nation and the world all voluntarily dressed up as Avatar Kyoshi because they saw past the differences in race, sexuality, gender, and just identified with her badassery. How are we not funding this? I just remembered I made this Tumblr back in like 2012. And I think to this day, it's still the best thing I've ever done. Since no one wants to say it, I'll say it. I like that bitch that wants to play Katara. Until she started spiraling out of control! So if you don't know what I'm talking about, her video had like 10 million views and 3 million likes, so I'm pretty sure you do. But anyways, this girl wants to play Katara. She gave three reasons why she should play Katara. One of them being that she's Asian, Vietnamese. The second one is that she did some type of martial arts. And then a third one was, I think because she wanted to be Katara for a really long time. Personally, I thought they were good qualifications until people pointed out Katara's Inuit. She's not Vietnamese, baby girl. And this bitch went crazy. Like, she literally should play Azula. Like, her second video after that video was like, You know what, Inuit girls? You can audition even though I fit everything except for the race part. And you'd be breaking my hopes and dreams. And then she got on live to attack people. Girl! Gentlemen, the girls and the gays don't want you. The girls and the gays want a Zuko or a Sokka. If you're neither of those two, take a seat. Next caller! The Serpent's Pass episode has everything. Iroh in a hat. An extremist. Toph invoking your family name to circumvent a bureaucratic wall of red tape. Moses imagery. And Katara as Frozone. Where's my super suit? Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. <clears throat> um, Azula, what are you doing with Hailey? <clears throat> Azula, this is why Mom doesn't fucking love you. And if you call me your boyfriend, make sure you put clingy in front of it. Stupid bitch. <laughs> my way. <laughs> are you coming?
In my day, Jin the Conqueror threatened to throw the world out of balance. I stopped him, and the world entered a great era of peace. But you didn't really kill Jin. Technically, he fell to his own doom because he was too stubborn to get out of the way. Personally, I don't really see the difference. But I assure you, I would have done whatever it took to stop Jin. I offer you this wisdom, Aang. Only justice will bring peace. Air is the element of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from worldly concerns and found peace and freedom. Also, they apparently had pretty good senses of humor. Because he was too stubborn to get out of the way. Personally, I don't really see the difference. But I assure you, I would have done whatever it took to stop Chin. I offer you this wisdom, Aang. Only justice will bring peace. Girl, we need to talk. What happened? Do you remember that weird date I had with that guy, Lee from the tea shop, and he had the, he had the scar like that and he was super cute, but it was really weird? Yes? Okay, the, the, he was... Uh, that was the... That's the Fire Lord. That's Fire Lord Zuko. It was Fire Lord Zuko the whole time. Uh, he he was. I went on a date with the Fire Lord. The, the torches, girl. It all makes sense. So, um, are you are you gonna try to hit it, girl? Yes, I'm trying to hit it. I am writing the letter right now. I sat here and posed for like ten minutes. Let me see the product. <laughs> Is that me? I don't understand why you keep laughing. You're doing it so well. Thank you. I didn't come here to fuck around. <laughs> Yo, Cabbage Man got some love in Legend of Korra. He made it to the top. But for his, uh... I'm innocent! Kid, I guess? We have frozen Mr. Ganlon's assets and are closing Cabbage Corp. No! Not my Cabbage Corp! There it is. Roses are red, storm clouds are gray. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Roses are red, some tulips are black. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. The roses have bloomed, the ground is muddy. My girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. The plants are all fine, not much in damages. Except, of course, for all of my cabbages! <laughs> Roses are red. You can buy some at a store. No, you miscalculated! You should have feared me more! Roses are red. Santa has a reindeer named Donner. I must capture the Avatar to restore my honor. Fire is red. Sokka's got a plan. Oh no! It's Sparky Sparky Boom Man! Okay, so a bunch of you guys tagged me in this girl's video, and basically she made this whole video saying, oh, why she deserves to be Katara. Her reasons being, oh, she can do martial arts, she can act, and she's Asian. Bit of a problem with that, uh, Katara is not meant to be Asian. She very clearly has native features, and she is meant to be native. And the fact that she's putting this on TikTok and asking for the role instead of auditioning like everyone else shows a little bit of entitlement. I think that the role should go to an actress who is native or has indigenous blood. Because races are not interchangeable, like you can't just switch one person of color for the other. It's kind of erasure. And the fact that she's calling the people that are pointing this out haters um, really says a lot about her. I'm not trying to like hate on her or crush her dream. That's not my goal here. I'm just saying that Native Americans have little to no representation in the entertainment industry. And it would be a huge step forward to cast an actual indigenous actress for the role of Katara. So yeah.
Those guys wish they were us. Oh, okay, okay. But at least we aren't that guy. Well, at least I'm not you-know-who. Words can hurt. When I first met you, I thought you were weird and annoying. And? And you are. Dance like a god. Dance like a god. And Dance like a goddamn.